What's going on guys, this is LQ and welcome to my first video about the weekend league that I've got going on. Uh, basically this is just going to be my first, I think it's 8 or 7 or 8 games. Uh, I was going to put 10 in but then it would have been a, too long a video. So I, I'll keep updating throughout the week. I'm not expecting these to get much views but I will leave a little hint that I did do well in this weekend league. I don't think I got off to the best start this episode. As you, as you can see, this is our team we've got here. Uh, a neat little hybrid, I've gone for the 4-2-3 one is my favorite formation on the game at the moment and uh, the, the first guy we come up against not the best team he's got like Rooney in center mid with Lamela uh, Walcott out at right wing even though he's a left wing and just a random Paolo Dybala there um, I really do not get people that make teams like this nonetheless uh, this guy was a decent player I remember playing him it was my first game on obviously I was nervous as hell and uh, as you can see 1-0 down already, 15 minutes into the uh, into the weekend league, but good chance to just your bus squirts into Harry Kane, uh, he loses out the ball, but gets it, good stop, uh, and puts it across to, I think that's Marquisio, of all people, yeah it is. Um, I'm not going to be talking too much about the gameplay, I'll leave that go on itself in the background, but I do want to raise a couple of topics for those that are watching. So the first one is, I I started a road to glory a couple of weeks ago, and it wasn't getting much views, it wasn't getting much support, so I, I thought I'd, you know, just disband it, but someone actually commented on one of my videos yesterday, I think it was, to keep it going, so I think I probably will keep it going. If any of you guys are interested in watching that, it's basically just a road to glory series where I go from literally zero coins and try and build my way up to the best possible prem team I can. Or not, not even a Prem team, just the best possible team in general. I don't really know where I'm taking the series, but uh, yeah, any other series you want to see, let me know down below. I've got quite a few series going on, so like obviously I've got to be wise and not just flood my channel with loads of different series, otherwise it'll be a pain in the ass to uh, to uh, keep up with. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Um, but yeah. If you guys want want to see, like, I don't know how much support this is gonna get. Like, there's pointless me uploading it to my channel if if no one's gonna watch it. But if you want to see, um, for those of you that are watching, just let me know down below if you if you are watching to this point and you're not really enjoying it. Let me know if you want to see like like the this weekend's league as well because I've qualified for it. I'm in Division One, so it automatically qualifies for it. That stutter scores a really nice goal against me. Um, so yeah, like, like I'm not bothered if, if no one wants to if, if no one wants to watch it, it's fine. I, I just I just won't upload it. I'll play it again, obviously, because uh, I really enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed this team that I, I've got on the pitch. Actually, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did, but it's 100% the best team I've used to date. And really surprised with players like uh, Harry Kane and, and Lallana. I really like both of them. Uh, and the next thing on my list is, do you want to see? Uh, a different series it's not a series as much it's just a bit of fun but I was thinking maybe if, if like I made the slowest Premier League team or like the tallest Premier League team stuff like that I obviously go through the different leagues uh, and see how, how awful they are and see, I'll, I'll try and play with them like like I said you know if, if I just got an 11 with a bench of the slowest Premier League players and try and win a game with it, then I'd, I'd be interested in doing something like that, or like the tallest Premier League team, get Crouch and Murtazaka in there. Um, but yeah, let me know down below. I'm asking so many questions, I'm probably going to get no comments back, but uh, may as well ask. Also, I'm going to be doing a setup video in, uh, I think it's probably going to be next week, because uh, my phone is currently broken. Uh, not not broken my phone, but the camera is. So when I record things, there's a black dot. Anyway, you guys don't want to know that. But basically, I can't really record the setup on my phone, and I don't have a proper camera. So I'll have to wait until that comes. Uh, or I'll have to borrow one of my mates' phones. As you can see, that guy. I think that was late on in the game. I think it was about the 60th minute, and I had been absolutely bartering that guy all game. And when I scored, you could tell when I scored because he literally just quit straight away. But um, we're halfway to bronze, bronze three, I think it is. By the way, if, if you guys don't know what the weekend league is, I, I probably should have been a little clearer on that. Um, it's just the pretty much the best players on FIFA play it throughout the weekend, and you've got 40 games to play, and you've got, you've got to get as much wins as you can. Basically, I think. I do show it in a different episode. I'm pretty sure I don't show uh, the prizes in this episode. But basically, if you finish in like elite one, which is 36 wins out of 40 games, which is a really hard task, by the way, I will add. 
Uh, I think you get like 125k coins, and then you get like a, a team of the week pack. So it's a pack where you're guaranteed, sorry, you're guaranteed to get an informed player from that week. So, uh, and Elite 2 is the same, you get a pack like that. I think it's three informs apparently, um, and 100k. And then, like, but even, even if you don't win like 30 plus games, there still are a lot of good. Um, what am I trying to say? There still are a lot of good prizes that you can can get on there. Um, like, like if you're finishing goal three, I think it's about 17 wins or something along those lines. There's still good prizes. You get packs, you get coins. You may as well enter it. Like my mate Jack, he literally played about three games. Uh, he won about three games, I think. And it's just a nice little like 4k in a pack or something, something good like that. Like. So like I said, you may as well join, it's not really harming you. If you're really, really uh, conscious about your record, then maybe it's probably not the thing for you. Because there are, I, I will say, there are a lot of good players that I came up against on this weekend league. I'd consider myself to be a pretty good FIFA player, uh, but I came up against a lot of good uh, good players, and there were some really tense games in there. Um, as you can see, I will say a bit about my team, I don't know whether you guys care for, I, I wasn't going to recommend this team anyway because I've noticed that I play a really really different style of FIFA than a lot of other people, like obviously I come up against um, like Sterling and Martial and, and Sadio Mane, players like that all the time, uh, who are sweaty players if you will, and I don't enjoy playing with them type of players, I prefer a nice slow build up, you know, I've got the likes of Lana and Harry Kane, and Harry Kane's got like 73 pace, and I, obviously I didn't come up against him, I don't think I came up against a striker that was less than 85 pace this whole tournament, um, as I'm playing Batshuayi who has like 82, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely no one like uh, Harry Kane or whatnot. I, and I know one of my mates used Mario Gomez, and another one of my mates used um, Olivier Giroud. So like, that's kind of the way I play. Is like nice slow build up. But as you can see, like I'm on the edge of the box passing. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the team I had was really really good. One thing I would recommend about the team definitely is is the defense. It was really really solid. Um, I did concede my fair share of goals, but that's mainly because I'm absolutely awful at defending. Uh, literally a disgrace to my family. Good finish from Rashford there. I uh, I do bring in subs as well for this team halfway through the um, halfway through the weekend, just because I, I thought you know I, if I needed something different off the bench. Like I have got my own bench full of players there now, but I think I brought Jamie Vardy. Uh, brought I think I bought. Uh, and I bought David Silva, I think I bought Ayanacho as well. Um, they didn't get too much game time, but it was nice to have them there on the bench and bring them off the bench. Also, Fakir on the bench, Nabi Fakir for Leon. If you have not tried him, I definitely would recommend trying him. He's such a good player. Uh, good goal from Max Rashford there. He was a really, really good player, to be fair. Oh, but one last thing I forgot to mention. Do you guys want to see in real life videos now? Maybe not like vlogs and stuff, not sure whether that would be the most entertaining in my life because it's not that fun. But, uh, you know, like, do you want to see some in real life videos like crossbar challenges and whatnot? I've always wanted to do them and edit them, but I've just never really got the chance to. Um, like I said, I, I probably won't be doing that anytime soon. I'll probably be doing, look at that goal, I can see today. Uh, I'll probably be doing like a face reveal for a thousand subscribers if I reach that. Um, I got a comment on the last video, that's my next goal. It definitely is my next goal, uh, but 600 subscribers, I didn't expect to get there this fast, considering I, uh, I only started uploading YouTube videos again about a month ago. But uh, yeah, coming up towards the end of this episode, it's not, there's still like two minutes left, so why am I lying? We go for a little chink down the middle. I shouldn't have done that, that was, that was, uh, that was uncalled for, as we do the Baffa celebration. I'm thinking of uploading another Swans career mode tonight, so there may be one out after this video. Like, like that's the first prize you get there. If you get five wins in the weekend league, I think it was 3,000 coins and a, and a couple of packs. So, like I said, it's definitely worth trying to qualify for. And then there, there are tournaments throughout the week that you can qualify. Some of them have uh, uh, requirements, some of them don't. I don't think this weekend league has any requirements on it. As you can see, I conceded a pretty AIDS goal there. That's what you notice a lot of in this as well, is that there are a lot of moments that do definitely do not go your way. Like, I, I was sat in a party with a couple of my mates that were playing the weekend league as well, and we were all we were doing was just complaining the whole time. Like, oh, how was that falling to him? How was that falling to him? Uh, this guy did actually score another goal, but after two goals went in, 
the the game started lagging a load and the guy was pretty good i knew i wasn't gonna get into it back into the game so i just i just sat my controller down and left it there i didn't bother playing uh, the rest of the game and he just scored another goal while i was afk but uh on to the last game of the episode this is the team we come up against uh, eric Bailly. um i noticed out of everyone there and we actually go one down jamie vardy with a really really good header I think it was after this game I thought mm, I might go out and, and try and pick Jamie Vardy up. But straight from kickoff, as you can see here, Danny Carvial into Sergio Busquets. This is the type of football I like playing, just patient stuff, putting it side to side from the pitch, looking to where my options are. Comes into Lalana here. Good bit of play from Lalana. Really, really good bit of play from Lalana actually into Sergio Busquets of everyone. Nice turn and into Sturridge. As you can see, I, I just took my time with every player I had there. Like, what enough people don't do on this FIFA is like realise who's got the ball. Like I had the ball with Busquets there. I knew I wasn't going to burst through and finish it top corner, but I pass over to Sturridge, and um, and he was well. He had the better opportunity to score, and we're actually going to concede very late on here to Jim Valley. I was gutted about that one, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Please tune in next time. There should be a Swans career mode up later. Like I said, thank you all for watching, and peace.